Woman power! Woo! Women joined the armed forces in around 1949. <laughs> About 400,000 American women played major roles in the military side of the war effort, if not in direct combat. Women in the defense plants, quoted in the home front. I learned that just because you're a woman and never worked is no reason you can't learn. The job really routed me. I've, I had always been in a shell. I'd always been protected, but at Boeing, I found a freedom and an independence I had never known. After the year, I could never go back to playing bridge again. Being a club woman, when I knew there were things you could do, you could use your mind for it. The war changed my life completely. Women began doing men jobs and helped produce hard hardware needed for the weapons of war. Women weren't interested in just high wages, but the sense of community that they, um, that they gained from it. Man utilized, we are still short millions of hands. We must call upon women. All over the United States, women are called upon to leave their homes and take jobs. Among our young unmarried women, and among older women whose children are grown, we have a large reserve. They discover that factory work is usually no more difficult than housework. Employers find that women can do many jobs as well as men, some jobs better. Tens of thousands of women are already at work in aircraft. More are being added as fast as they apply. This solves the breadwinning problem for many families whose men are at war. The government's policy is that women should get the same pay that men get for similar work. Where necessary, machinery is adapted for women's use. When a hand drill weighs heavily on feminine muscles, the lazy arm drill is introduced to take off the strain. When married women with small children have to take jobs, everything possible will be done to provide day care for the children. 